Welcome you all friends. A small tweet of Donald G. Trump makes over fire. Just look over here. The United States has previously given Pakistan more than $33 billion in ad over the last 15 years. Means, means they are wasting $33 billion from the last 15 years and they have given us nothing but lies and deceit. Thinking of our leaders as fools, they give a safe heaven, heaven to the terrorist. Terrorist, we hunt in Afghanistan with little heat, no more. It is near about 16 years, 16 hours. It is near about 16 hours uh, that the tweet has been passed. Uh, Mr. Donald Trump and we are leaving the Florida for Washington DC today. At 4 p.m., much work to uh, to be done, but it will be a great new year. 43k replies are given by the pupils. Now, if we go through the YouTube, we can see the main trending videos of this news can be seen. Ask and talk in terror, really walk hand in hand. Also, a strong tweet by the American president talking about what he describes as Pakistan's lies and deceit. Can Donald Trump's words help India over Pakistan? That is the other big story that we are looking at this. Let me start by asking you, uh, Mr. Sareen, first. Uh, We've just seen this tweet from Donald Trump come. We've got a response there from Pakistan also. All they're saying is we will respond and you will hear what we have to say and so on and so forth. But are you surprised by the tough talk that Donald Trump is doing A and B? Do you believe that he will walk the talk? Well, I'm just going to try and go, go across to Mr. Sareen in just a bit. But if I could just take that to you, Laluwalia, how do you see this? Are you taken aback by how strongly the U.S. administration is now talking about aid in return for all that Pakistan has promised them over the years? They've been doing this for quite some time. Uh, obviously because they are affected. Hmm. Why are they affected? They are affected because Pakistan is supporting the Taliban hmm. that is opposing the United States and the other coalition forces in Afghanistan. Hmm. Now the question is whether this is going to affect Pakistan or not. Mm. Firstly, you might find a couple of hours later, there will mm. be another tweet by Donald Trump. Mm. So the reliability factor mm. is questionable. Mm. And secondly, if you, if you see, I think they have already throttled back mm. as far as the association with the United States is concerned. Mm. The defense procurement mm. is at its lowest ebb. Mm. They're going to China. Mm. As far as finances are concerned, there's very little money flowing from the United States. Mm. So therefore, they are not relying on on the United States for... So their attitude then is, what do we have to lose anyway? Precisely. Is, is, is that... Is that the question. Now I'm going to ask you one. Um, it's no secret our country doesn't have a lot of money. We're, we're in debt. Uh, what would the foreign aid policy be of a Trump administration for, and this is a two-part question, one is to use money as coercion for countries that we aren't particularly friendly with and may not deserve, but we want to get them to do something, and the other for humanitarian aid, like I was just down in Ecuador where there are earthquake victims and you've got Nepal and you've got uh, Haiti and all these countries where people are desperate. So what would you be doing with our foreign aid policy on money. I can see both, to be honest with you. I mean, we do help countries that we're not in love with them, but if we don't help them, it's going to be bigger problems, and I can sort of see both. At the same time, we give money and we give a lot of things and a lot of help to countries that absolutely don't deserve it. They absolutely, they're not our friends. They don't do anything good for us. It's like a one-way street. You look at NATO as an example. We have 28 countries. We protect them, and many of those countries right now are delinquent. They haven't paid up, and they have the money to pay up, and we have trillions probably trillions of dollars out there of past due and i said i want these countries to ہم خبر دیں آپ کو یہاں پاکستان کا دو ٹوپ اور دبنگ اعلان قومی سلامتی کمیٹی نے امریکی صدر کے الزامات سختی سے مسترد کر دیے اہم اجلاس میں سیاسی و عسکری قیادت نے ٹرمپ انتظامیہ کی جنوبی ایشیا پالیسی کا تفصیلی جائزہ لیا پاکستان نے ٹرمپ انتظامیہ پر واضح کر دیا ہے کہ افغانستان میں چھپے شر پسند پاکستان میں دہشت گردی کے ذمہ دار ہیں امریکہ ان کے خلاف کاروائی کرے قومی سلامتی کمیٹی نے امریکہ کا اربوں ڈالر امداد دینے کا دعویٰ بھی گمراہ کن قرار دیا ہے قومی سلامتی کمیٹی کا ہے مشلاس سیاہ کر دیا 
not say when we are going to attack, but attack we will. अमेरिकी पॉलिसी पर कौमी इतफाक राय पैदा करने का फैसला चीन के पाकिस्तान की हिमायत के बयान का खैर मकदम कमेटी ने वाजे कर दिया की पाकिस्तान में दहशत गर्दों के कोई ठिकाने नहीं झूठे इल्जाम ऐसी गुरेज किया जाए ऐलाम में कहा गया की अमरीका अफगानिस्तान में छुपे दहशत गर्दों के खिलाफ फौरी और मौसर कार्रवाई करे वजी अजम शाह खाकान अब्बासी की जर सदारत इजलास के शुरुआत ने कहा की मुल्क की सलामती आरोप कोई समझौता नहीं किया There, uh, the situation goes from bad to potentially much, much worse. He has some tough words for Pakistan, and this was a mixed bag. So first, let's hear him out. We can no longer be silent about Pakistan's safe havens for terrorist organizations, the Taliban, and other groups that pose a threat to the region and beyond. Pakistan has much to gain from partnering with our effort in Afghanistan. It has much to lose by continuing to harbor criminals and terrorists. Pakistan has also sheltered the same organizations that try every single day to kill our people. We have been paying Pakistan billions and billions of dollars. At the same time, they are housing the very terrorists that we are fighting. But that will have to change and that will change immediately it is time for pakistan to demonstrate its commitment to civilization order and to peace yeah so this was harder because he's right focus on the united states he has foolishly given pakistan more than 33 billion dollars in aid over the last 15 years and they have given this nothing but lies dc thinking of our leaders as fools they give safe haven to the terrorists we hunt in Afghanistan with little help no more text the united states has foolishly given pakistan more than 33 billion dollars in aid over the last 15 years and they have given this nothing but lies and deceit thinking of our leaders as fools They give safe haven to the terrorists we hunt in Afghanistan with little help. No more 